morning you guys yesterday I got a full night of sleep like a good seven or eight hours but I'm feeling so tired today like my eyes are still so heavy I am flying today my sign on is at 1 30 p.m. so I'm gonna leave here at about 12 30 and it's almost 10 now so I'm just trying to upload yesterday's video right now so that should be up probably by the time i leave work other than going into work there's really nothing i want to do today i'm just feeling quite tired i'm feeling quite overwhelmed i have to go to underberg in a few days so it's just but yeah i'm trying to catch up on a few vlogmases while i get ready and like while i'm sitting here right now uploading the video so i'll feel much better when i'm on my way to work like i get very excited to go to work and i'm always like in a good mood getting on that plane so i know it will be a good day i'm just tired right now and i'm just struggling right now and waiting for the caffeine to kick in right now <laughs> smoothie you guys saw and it's very good i like the little pieces of date it kind of tastes like these little pieces of caramel in the smoothie so i was thinking because i'm feeling so tired today i would try this intense awakening mask this coffee mask from the other day there are no instructions except rinse off after five to ten minutes can you see that that's how that comes out <laughs> that looks so gross Okay, but let's try it. Oh, that feels sticky. I wonder if there's actual caffeine in this mask that is gonna like penetrate into my skin and into my brain so that I can be like very awake for today. <laughs> I know that's probably a dumb thing to say, but like seriously. <laughs> okay, this mask just feels like goop. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for the next five to 10 minutes and hopefully by the end, I will feel more awakened. <laughs> okay, things are not going as planned. I just got home, it's 20 past seven. When I left, my video that was meant to be live today was uploading and I just got home and it's still not up. So I'm very annoyed by that because this is the latest one of my videos will be up during Vlogmas. But I mean, that's not really the end of the world. But today the flights, the first flight was super, super hectic. Yo, it was just insane. Oh, I mustn't forget to do the advent calendar today. Okay, let me tell the story while I'm sitting there so I don't forget. So today's flight, we went to PE and back. It was a nice quick day. Like I said, I'm back, it's 20 past seven. So yeah, we flew to PE and back. Our first flight was pretty full. It was 180 something passengers, I don't know. But what overwhelmed me about it was that we had a lot of special attention passengers. I think seven meet and assists who are people who just need assistance. It's not like people who need wheelchairs or anything. It could be people who are flying for the first time, just have never flown to that specific airport before people who are, are too old to be unaccompanied minors but they also like you know still pretty young we just had i think seven of them and then in my zone alone i think i had four infants and three wheelchair passengers one of which was a complete pau which means she could barely stand up on her own they needed to bring a slipper chair on board so that they could take her from the seat on the aircraft onto this chair in order to roll her out into the airport the other wheelchair passengers were okay walking from the door of the aircraft to their seats but oh if i didn't mention before i was flying one right up front with my senior who i flew with a couple days no it's the same senior i flew with the day i got route checked actually so She's super chilled, as you know, love her to bits. Boarding was just insanely, insanely hectic. Like, I don't even know how I survived that, honestly. But basically for every special attention passenger that we bring on board, we have to brief them. But because we had so many at the same time, I decided to board all of them and then brief afterwards. But the thing is, we were also boarding only from the front. We were boarding only from the front, so we had to wait until boarding was completely done before I could actually go in and brief them. My senior did help me brief them, and the crew in the back did brief the 
I think six of the meet and assist because six of them were seated in the back of the aircraft anyway and only one was seated in the front but I had to help all the parents with their babies I had to brief all of them I had to brief the other wheelchair passengers it was just a hot mess and then when I was getting ready to do the demo then all of the passengers in the first two rows were like oh my bag is up in the overhead storage and I forgot to switch my cell phone off please give me my bag ready for demo like we're we're we need to go we need to get going and only now you're thinking of switching your phone off like that's up in your bag that i now need to get for you it was just it just it, it, i was frazzled like i was honestly overwhelmed during the boarding portion of the first flight the rest of the flight itself was uneventful the rest of the flight was chill the two babies that were closest to me were just the cutest darn things on earth. Like, if I could have eaten them, I would have. And I'm not joking. And then on the second flight... Mm, also, no, the second flight was fewer passengers. I think on the second flight we had 111 passengers coming back to Johannesburg. But boarding seemed to take forever. The flight looked... You know, sometimes flights just look fuller than they are. But it was a good flight nonetheless. It was funny, when we were doing demo, we were standing there and about to start the demo announcement. Our senior had just introduced us and then the power went off. Everything just switched off and the emergency lights came on. So all of us are standing there, me and my other two crew members like that are ready to do demo. We were standing there like, do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. And so we were all just like joking that it's probably load shedding or something because if you're South African, you know, load shedding, ESCOM. But at the same time, like that didn't make sense because it's not like electrical because we're on an airplane. So it can't be a power outage on an airplane. So it was really funny. And then the passengers were asking me like, what happened? There's no ESCOM here on this blade. And I was like, I don't know what happened. And then the power came back on like 10 seconds later. And when I asked the pilots what happened, the captain was laughing so hard. He was like, yeah, it was the first officer. He's not very graceful. He accidentally bumped the switch to switch the PAU off. So we had to wait for the power to come back on and we continued with our demo. It was really funny. I did have one passenger who was pretty scared of it though. I think it was her first time flying. So she was like, is something wrong with the plane? Why did the power go out? Like, are we okay? Are we still going to be able to go? And I was like, yes, ab absolutely. Everything is fine. They just accidentally switched the power off and now it's back on and we're going on our way. <laughs> it, was just, it was just really funny. But anyway, but that's enough of that. Those were the highlights of my day. And let's see what we've got in today's advent calendar. Today we are on day 16. This guy says don't buy paper to wrap gifts together. Recycle something at home instead. This is very very light so I'm gonna go right ahead and guess that it's a face mask. What else could it be? Let's see. What is this? Oh! <laughs> it's not a face mask. Well done Andy. It's one of these little like headband thingies that looks like it could be cute like you know while you're putting your makeup on or something that looks like it could be very cute i love the little stars it's like navy with gold stars that's super cute i wasn't expecting that at all we have less than 10 days until christmas guys until the end of this advent calendar until the end of vlogmas time is really really flying by and i absolutely appreciate that <laughs> To be honest, I absolutely love that about the festive season this year. I really want to call it an early night tonight. So I am going to end this vlog right here. I was going to show you guys my macrame wall hanging, which I did start. You can kind of see something right there. Kind of started it, kind of also filmed it a little bit, but I just really want to call it an early night tonight. So I'm actually going to show you guys the rest of it tomorrow and i'll finish it tomorrow for tonight i just want to get editing to this video figure out why yesterday's video isn't up yet finish editing and uploading this one so it is up nice and early tomorrow but otherwise i love you guys so very much and i really appreciate all of your time for watching my vlogmas videos it really means the world to me that some of you guys are watching every single video every single day but yeah i really appreciate you guys so thank you very much for watching this video i'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye guys.